So it looks like Taylor Nicole Dean is back and she finally left Johnny Craig. And in this video, we're gonna discuss all of the things that we can take away from this and learn some valuable lessons. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter. I know a ton of you have been asking me about when is Rewire Your Anxiety gonna be finished? And it is complete, all right? The ebook is totally finished. I finished recording the audiobook today. Uh, my editor, Zach, he's just doing some tweaks, finishing it up. So it'll either be released tonight or first thing Monday morning. So make sure you're following me on social media because I'll have the links available. I'm already giving away 20 free copies, but I will be doing a lot more giveaways. So if you're somebody who struggles with anxiety or you know somebody who struggles with anxiety, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul, all right? So yeah, before I jump into this video and kind of explain the story of Taylor Nicole Dean and Johnny Craig and everything like that. Real quick disclaimer, I do not know Taylor Nicole Dean, all right? I make my videos to give some context to help all of you out there. Either A, you're somebody who struggles with addiction, B, you're somebody in recovery from addiction, or C, you know somebody who struggles with addiction, all right? So my videos are for you. So I don't know Taylor Nicole Dean, I'm not a licensed therapist or a psychologist, but I am somebody who, is who just celebrated, actually, seven years of sobriety. My primary drug of choice was prescription opioids, and I also worked in a drug and alcohol treatment center where we specialized in mental health as well. I worked there for a little over three years, and I am now a certified sober coach as well. All right, so that is where my experience comes in. So let's talk about what's going on with Taylor Nicole Dean and Johnny Craig and see what lessons we can all learn from it. All right, so, Taylor Nicole Dean, I, I used to have a lot of people request me make videos on her. Um, she has like an animal channel. She owns a ton of pets. And a lot of people ask me to make videos on like animal hoarding and everything um, because there's been some issues with her and that in the past. And now that we know that she struggles with addiction, this is something that is possible. Like I am an addict, right? Like I can get addicted to anything, okay? Like some might say I get addicted to food at times, right? Like I can get locked in and focused on anything and use it to an excess, all right? For some people, they can also have a shopping addiction or gambling addiction or like an animal addiction, all right? But anyways, recently, like maybe four, three or four months ago maybe, um, Taylor Nicole Dean ended up going to rehab. It turned out that her boyfriend, Johnny Craig, introduced her to heroin, okay? And this is something that's very, very, very common, all right? Um, in relationships, like, it's, it's common for one person to do harder drugs than somebody else and then be like, here, why don't you just try it? Because like, here's the thing, like most people don't, don't understand, like most people don't wake up in the morning and say, yo, I'm gonna try some heroin today, right? But addiction is progressive and we might start off with prescription pills or whatever, like I'm very fortunate that I never progressed to heroin. But I could see being in somebody like Taylor Nicole Dean's situation where like, if my significant other was doing heroin, I'd be like, oh, well, pfft they're surviving, like maybe I'll just try it one time. Especially because most people try heroin, from my experience, when they're desperate, right? Like either they run out of pills or they're going through withdrawal, so maybe they can't afford the pills or whatever it is, or it's just easily accessible. Um, heroin can also be a lot cheaper than buying pills off the black market. Like, I didn't have insurance, and whoo, 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 girl, I was spending so much money on prescription pills. But anyways, Taylor Nicole Dean ended up going to rehab. I can't remember if Johnny Craig did. But anyways, Taylor Nicole Dean came back and she made this comeback video and a lot of people let me know. And I made a video explaining how proud I was of her. And now, like, I didn't know, but now we do know. But a lot of people were like, I don't think she's clean, Chris. Like, she looks like she's still, like, slurring and she might be high and everything. And, like... I am an optimist. I, I'm like, no, no, I don't know. Maybe she's still clean. You know, in early recovery, it can be very difficult. But the way she was talking, it seemed like she was going through an outpatient program. So typically, for those of you who don't understand how treatment works, 
most people will start out like at the detox level of care, then you'll do inpatient, then you'll do outpatient, all right? And this can depend how long you stay in each one, depending on like your health insurance or how well you're progressing with your recovery. Like the treatment center I was working at, we had all levels of care from detox to inpatient to outpatient. But outpatient is like the real test. That is the real test of your recovery. Because inpatient, you're in this bubble, right? Your entire day is just about addiction recovery, and that is it. Then when you go to outpatient, you're either living at home or some people live in a sober living house, but you're like back transitioning into the world and still getting like a minimal level of care, right? So it's, I, would, I don't wanna use the word common, but people do relapse in outpatient treatment. So now Taylor Nicole Dean is back, so we can safely assume that she relapsed and went back into treatment. So something I wanna discuss real quick, a lot of people say that, you know, um, relapse is part of recovery. And just to clarify that, like, yes, I relapsed many times. Taylor Nicole Dean, she has relapsed. Many addicts you know relapsed, okay? But here's the thing, it does not have to be part of your story. The reason why I emphasize that so much is because I have lost so many people, so many people who went back out, they used one times and they died, all right? But it looks like, it looks like Taylor Nicole Dean learned some valuable things from this relapse and one of them is splitting up with Johnny Craig. So she kind of made that announcement in this picture right here that she posted up on Instagram. So it says, I asked I Am Halsey a month ago to write out these lyrics for me. I never ever imagined it would happen. I wasn't surprised when I never heard about it. I reactivated my accounts yesterday after completing treatment for addiction and leaving my toxic relationship. This song and the lyrics happened to be what inspired and motivated me to have the strength to do those things. And she happened to randomly send me lyrics yesterday night. I have no clue how this happened, but it was truly like a gift for finally doing something I felt powerless over doing for so long. Please don't copy this as it's so special to me. This was the best gift to celebrate my sobriety and the start of my new life. Got it above my heart for a reason. Gonna add a little dagger to it later. And yeah, like that's super cool. And she just posted a new video. She got the she got the dagger on there. But then anyways, Johnny Craig ended up posting these pictures and he said, you know, like he's taking a break. But here's the thing. Okay, so check it. Stay with me now. Like one of the one of the main things, like people don't realize this, especially when we're in our active addiction, we don't realize it. One of our main reasons that we're still using is because of our toxic relationship. It can be so hard to get clean and stay clean when your significant other is still using. And one of the reasons that many people, like Taylor Nicole Dean didn't leave him the first time when she went to go get treatment, right? And I almost guarantee you, I almost guarantee you that her therapist or counselors or whoever it was, probably suggested that she leaves that relationship and she didn't, right? But it's so difficult because the other person's still using and then you feel like you love them. So something that's really beneficial about addiction treatment and working with a therapist, like even if you didn't go to treatment, I highly recommend like therapy because many people with drug and alcohol addictions can also struggle with codependency. Codependency was something I struggled with for a very, very long time. And this can keep us in toxic relationships that lead us back to relapse. So it is so awesome of Taylor Nicole Dean to kind of get that clarity finally and just be like, okay, like I have to leave this person. And this can be so difficult because if the other person's using, it can make you afraid because you feel maybe that if you leave them, then they'll never get clean or they're gonna die. And something we all have to realize is we cannot make anybody get clean and sober, right? Our love cannot make somebody get sober. Sometimes it's enabling them. Like for example, like I didn't finally get clean and sober until people started cutting me out. So Taylor Nicole Dean leaving that relationship might save Johnny Craig's life, all right? But anyways, as you saw, Johnny Craig is obviously, you know, heartbroken and everything about this situation. But here's the thing, like don't ever let somebody guilt you into that, especially if you're trying to save your own life. Like addiction is a life or death thing. And when it comes to addiction recovery, we have to be selfish. Like you guys, I have not been clean and sober for seven years because I'm not putting my recovery first, right? My recovery comes first and then it's like, son, girlfriend, you know, keeping a roof over my head, all these other things. Because if I don't have my sobriety, I don't have anything. Seven years ago, I had a 10% 
chance of living, all right? And like, I just, I really hope, like even if you're not an addict or alcoholic in recovery, like just understand the importance of getting out of toxic relationships and if anything, be inspired by Taylor Nicole Dean to know that you can leave a toxic relationship to improve your mental and emotional well-being. You have to put you first. You can't save anybody and so many people wait around for other people to change and it just doesn't happen and sometimes you just gotta leave, all right? So really look within yourself and be self-aware and know if this relationship is destroying your mental health, all right? So anyways, I hope everybody learns from this situation and I hope Taylor Nicole Dean stays on the right track. You know, the last thing I'll say is like, all we can do after a relapse and getting help again is look back at all the things that we refused to do the last time and switch it up this next time. And she's already made a great step by ending that relationship. Now it's about everything she has to do to avoid relapse in the future. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because Rewire Your Anxiety is dropping today or tomorrow morning, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing and welcome to all the new patrons. If you sign up for Patreon, you get access to the new book for free, all right? But anyways, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.